Hey everyone, it's Matteo here from CDSoft. I hope you've had a great day and welcome back to the channel. Flash Forge has just released its latest printer, the Flash Forge Adventure 4 Pro, and today I'm going to be comparing the differences between it and its predecessor, the Adventure 4, in hopes that it will help you in deciding whether it's worth upgrading to this printer or not. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so there's five main differences that I've noticed between the Adventure 4 and the Adventure 4 Pro. These differences are a new build plate, 30 point auto bed leveling, a new fan structure, new XY axis structure, and two new nozzles. The Adventure 4 featured a magnetic flexible build plate with textured build tape on top of it. For the Adventure 4 Pro, Flashforge has decided to swap out the magnetic flexible build plate and upgrade it to a magnetic double-sided build plate. One side has a PEI coating for printing PLA, ABS and carbon fiber filaments such as PLACF and PETGCF and the other side is uncoated steel for printing PETG. PEI coated plates have strong bed adhesion so this upgrade should help your print stick to the bed better and remove the use of rafts completely. It will also help prevent the first layer from warping and give the bottom of your prints a nice smooth finish. To level the Adventure 4, you had to first set the nozzle height, then manually level 9 points on the bed. Flashforge has upgraded this on the Adventure 4 Pro to an auto 30 point bed level. All you need to do is set the nozzle height and the printer will then automatically level the bed. This is a great upgrade as bed leveling should now be more precise, resulting in an improved first layer and it's also less hassle for the user. The fan structure has been upgraded from a 2 fan structure on the Adventure 4 to a 3 fan on the Adventure 4 Pro. This upgrade accelerates the cooling speed, allowing the machine to print faster and reduces model warping. Now, I can't personally see a lot of difference here. However, Flashforge has stated that it has upgraded the XY axis structure on the Adventure 4 Pro. This upgrade allows the machine to print a lot faster than the Adventure 4, and with the addition of the two new nozzles, Flashforge claims it can print up to four times faster. The Adventure 4 comes with a standard 0.4mm 240 degree nozzle, as well as a 0.6mm 265 degree nozzle for printing higher temp filaments like PETG. With the Adventure 4 Pro, Flashforge has released two new nozzles. A 0.4mm 240 degree high speed copper nozzle and a 0.6mm 265 degree high strength or hard nozzle. The high speed copper nozzle paired with the upgraded XY axis structure of the Adventure 4 Pro allows the machine to print at 200 mils per second by default, but also increases its max print speed to an impressive 300 mils per second. The high strength or hard nozzle is essentially an upgraded 0.6mm 265 degree nozzle, which allows the Adventure 4 Pro to print PLACF and PETGCF without damaging the nozzle. The original 0.6mm 265 degree nozzle was not hardened and over time would wear with high abrasion due to the fibres inside of carbon fibre filaments. The high strength nozzle is compatible with all printers from the Adventurer series, however the high speed is only compatible with the Adventurer 4, Adventurer 4 Lite, Adventurer 4 Pro and the Adventurer 3 Pro version 2.
After comparing these two printers, I can confidently say that the Adventure 4 Pro is definitely an upgrade to the Adventure 4. But is it worth purchasing? The Adventure 4 Pro maintains its wide range of filament compatibility with improved compatibility for carbon fiber filaments, making it the perfect printer for both beginners and professionals. The Adventure 4 Pro is easier to set up, prints much faster with no compromise on quality and costs no more than the Adventure 4. In my opinion, it is the printer of choice and worth purchasing for schools and businesses where speed, quality and ease of use are paramount. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.